Hi guys, I welcome you back to this TV channel. In today's tutorial, we'll be talking about how to simulate your character's clothes in CC4 and High Clone. In High Clone 8 and CC4. So, without further ado, let us get out to business. So, as we already know that if you want to simulate clothes in High Clone or CC4, so you have to need something which is called skin weight. So, weight map, sorry. So, you have to have something which is called weight map. So in order for you to create weight map, so that's what we'll be talking in this video. So this is the sample of it. So let us know to uh this is the character here. So as you can see the skirt, so the skirt is moving. As you can see, as the guy is moving, the skirt too is also doing it's also moving. So that's what we want to talk in this video now. Now, uh if you want to simulate any type of clothes or hair so you have to do a select the clothes that you want to simulate select it so go to file export then click on our uh, obj selected item only then leave the default settings so let us name it maybe sketch So now we have exported this sketch, but okay now, if you make the character to work. So let me hide the prop, the background, so that you can see very well, and this badge. Okay. Now let's assume I want to, this character to work. Spin around. So... Now, if I click on play, so you will notice that this sketch, it is not simulated at all. As you can see, it's very stiff. It does not look like this, like this one. So it's supposed to look like this, like this one, but it's very, very different. Because uh, the cloth does not have simulation. So it is not the same, as you can see. As you can see here, the cloth is simulated, but here, it is not simulated at all. So that's why we want to fix right now now once you export the clothes then open your blender we'll be using blender to create the weight map so open your blender so this is the blender here so and this is the sky that i just export let me put the file location so as you can see i've already i've already generated some some waste map before so I want to do everything from scratch now. Now this is the sketch. Now once you open your blender, go to your file, import OBJ. Click on OBJ. Then locate where you export the sketch or your clothes. So I save the clothes, the sketch here. Then open it, import it. Without any settings. So now let me drag this sketch down. So that I can see it very well. So once you have done that, then we need to activate texture paint panel. So once we have activated this texture paint panel in Blender, so then something will appear. If 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 this doesn't appear, just click on anyone here, then click on texture paint again. So it's supposed to appear. Texture paint. Now it has appeared. This is how it's supposed to be. So if you see that, if you notice that you did it in first place, this does not appear. So you just have to see, uh, the select on this case, select it again, then click any layout here, then click on texture paint again. So once you have done that, uh, click on this under this panel here, which is editor type. So click on this plus sign and then activate base color. So you can name the base color, let's all, let us say sketch, sketch 2. So you change this, you leave this width and height, leave it as default one. So you change this color to black. So change this color to black, then make sure you deactivate this alpha mode. So deactivate alpha and click on OK. So once you have done that, so you want this part of this sketch, you want, uh, want, you want this red line. 
to be what to be simulated so we want this red light to be simulated so that's what we'll be selecting here so once you have select activate this area then go to this other image here choose the sky two. so you see this this uv layout here now once you have done that then we we can now do what we can now start to paint now let me you can now use the brush to paint to paint the area where you want it to be simulated so as you can see i'm painting the area when i want it to be simulated so make sure you be careful with this in order for you not to do any mistake Just make sure you are careful with it. Don't deselect anything. So once you have done that, then go to other image. So go to other image here. Click on save. Click on this save as. So I will save it under this here. So I rename it. Uh, name it. So I leave it as sketch two then save as image so go back to your cc4 or uh, see your your cc4 or i clone click on once you have selected this case click on modify tab apply physics so activate physics here so if your clothes is if your clothes have many many materials sorry so you'll be asked this boss if your clothes is just only a single material so you don't need to select anything so you just have to select this case only but since this case have multiple materials so it will want me to select which one i want to activate the physics on so i think this is for sketch two so then once you have activated it locate where you export uh the skin with the waste matter that you generated from blender so once you locate it so this is a sketch two then drag the waste map into into night clone physics section so now make sure you activate uh this one which is which is the soft close and the collision so make sure you activate both after that then you cannot select you cannot do it you cannot hit on play but before that you can also set the waste map settings so you can set the waste map settings so maybe you want it to be more gray white you know all like that so you can choose the clothes type so you can choose general so depend on your taste so hit on play if i hit on play now so as you can see the skirt is now simulated as you can see before it does not simulate but now that we have added this waste map here so it has been simulated successfully and it is now do what it is now moving when the character also move so if i delete so let us see if we change this color let us see what will happen here so as you can see this is very bad we don't want this so just show that you are very careful so let us see this one here so this is cool as you can see the skirts really move very well so no collision issues so in case if you are uh, if you do something like this and you notice that and you notice that uh the skirts or the clothes is with the character mesh so just make sure you set the character's collision shape which you can do here so make sure that you select the character then go to under modify tab with attributes scroll down to collision shape then and and do the settings so this is where the sketch is under this under this knee under this tie and the belly so you can deactivate other parts that it will not be affected affected so as chest chest will not be affected and this okay this one will be affected because this clothes here is 
besides beside that i'm sorry so you can you can check the shape so let me deactivate this okay select the character collision shape so you can edit this so you can increase it as you can see so you can decrease it let me redo that so something like that so once you have done that the everything will be will be fine so let me on this cut again so you can see it's simulated now let us check here so we've done we've did clothes let us check here so let me select another project so let me close let me exist this so we are done with this so if you want this second part to be also simulated you can also do you can also draw the waste map and do the same things that we did here the export is use it as waste map in cc4 or iclone then your character's clothes will be simulated so let us close this one so this is the second character here as I, that was, I want to set as an example so if you check this character i think this one have our uh, waste map already the hair of waste map so if i hit on play as you can see this one does not simulate so i have not activated this so it will be simulated now so this one already has its old waste map so uh may um try to understand that all the waste map are different because the way the models are modeled they are different so you have to be doing any one you have to do each of these items that you want it to be simulated where your character is moved you have to be doing it manually so one waste map cannot work for all objects so this one have its own waste map so if i delete, delete this one then export the hair to blender in order for me to create another waste map so same settings let me name this one as hair three so i have deleted the waste map here if i hit on play you see that this year is not simulating at all it's very stiff so and we don't want that so you want the year to be moving when the character is also moving so go to blender just as just the same method be using so here's the year that i just exported then click on select the object click on texture paint so zoom out to see what you want to edit so activate the base color mode change change the name can change the name to anything that you like deactivate other mode then change this to black click on ok you can now paint the area where you want it to be simulated so let me paint the area that i want to be simulated so if you notice that if you notice that your system is freezing where you are doing it so it may be the models maybe the model polygon is very you can reduce the model before importing so you can just reduce the more model polygons in blender as well so so that we get stable settings so this is the part that i want to i want it to be simulated now if you click on this area here then click on here 3 so 
we've already see that the air uh the waste map has been generated now we can now export it click on image save as here 3d so same image then go to go to go back to cc or i clone click on uh physics tab activate physics so same things here then choose uh the material so if it's a single material you just have to drop your waste map here but if it's a multiple material so you have to select which material that you want it to be simulated so the here then locate where you export the waste map so this is the hair theory that i did so drop the waste map into, into the section then since we are dealing with here so we'll be clicking here here so you can use these different settings and make sure you turn on this collision and uh collision shape and this soft close you make sure you turn it on so let us see it on play to see the settings now so as you can see it has now been simulated so if you select different settings here let us see what will happen so i've, I've used this straight one straight two sorry so as you can see this the simulation is kind of different so if we select on this as well let us see what will happen maybe this wavy one it's on play as you can see the physics settings uh behavior is very different so just make sure you select the one that suited you so that it is guys that is how to simulate any kind of characters clothes or hair or you can also use the same method for any accessory that you want it to be simulated as well so if you enjoyed this tutorial make sure you subscribe to this video and if you have already subscribed make sure you share the video to other people that want to learn about it as well so see you in the next one bye for now